Hello and welcome to another episode of Perfection Achieved. I am Chef Joey Prats. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're making a very easy, a very simple recipe called Hawaiian Macaroni and Chicken Salad. Alright, so the chicken is my contribution because uh, Hawaiian Macaroni Salad does not normally contain chicken. So anyway, just uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, our show is where we promote my online classes. I have a lot of online classes for those who are interested. And also, we showcase very simple, easy to do, but to die for recipes. Okay, so for today, we're doing, as I said, my special macaroni and chicken salad. I first created this um, like a couple of years ago. Uh, when I first got together with my partner Frank, one of the first recipes that he he wanted to explore was a macaroni salad, and uh, I said I'm not fond of macaroni salad. So we got together in the kitchen and we created this based on an authentic uh, Hawaiian macaroni salad recipe. But after we tasted the original recipe, we said let's tweak it a little bit, make it more to our liking in terms of taste, texture, and all of that. So I'm going to share with you today this wonderful, wonderful recipe which you can take to parties, you can take to picnics, or you can just stock this in your fridge so that anytime you need a quick fix, let's say a midnight snack, and you need a uh, substantial treat, then this is going to be in your fridge, all right? So very simple. You need two bowls, one for the dressing and one to mix all our other ingredients. So in the first bowl, the bigger bowl, I am going to combine, wait, let me just get my magic gloves on. All right, so in my first bowl, I'm going to combine my macaroni Oh, by the way, the recipe is in the description box below, all right? And if you like what you see, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that every time we have a new upload, then you will be notified, okay? So, speaking of pasta, um, pasta, dry pasta I mean, the one that you buy from supermarkets, when you cook them, they double in weight. So let's say your recipe calls for a kilo, one kilogram of cooked pasta, whether it be spaghetti, macaroni, fettuccine, any kind of pasta, and you use dry store-bought pasta. Um, if your recipe calls for one kilo, you start with 500 grams of dry pasta. Once you boil it up, you'll end up with double the amount or double the quantity, one kilo, all right? So for macaroni um, salad, one of the techniques or secrets that I learned from a friend of mine who's, uh, who's a Hawaiian, by the way, is that they normally overcook the pasta, okay? They normally, your pasta calls for eight, 10 minutes of boiling time until it's al dente. But when you make uh, authentic Hawaiian macaroni salad, I understand that you have to overcook your pasta. They cook it for like 15 minutes at least, okay? Until it's nice and soft. And the logic behind this is that the pasta being soft and with more of the pores open will be able to absorb more of the dressing. And more dressing means more flavor. So there you go. That's a secret I learned from a Hawaiian friend. Now I have here my pasta, which is elbow macaroni. And I'm going to add to it, this is my, as I said, my contribution to this recipe, the chicken, because I love chicken. Full of protein and all and then I have some carrots okay um, some celery which we chop coarsely a little bit of pineapple now having pineapple in your macaroni salad does not make it Hawaiian okay because the if you look at if you do your research most Hawaiian macaroni salads do not contain pineapple. But I just love pineapple, so I'm adding it in. 
and I've got some pickle relish, some sweet pickle relish to give it a little bit of tartness and um, some raisins. Again, if you're one of those people who are not fond of raisins, then you can leave it out. And again, my special uh, add-on is cheese because I love cheese. What am I saying? I love everything. I add these things because I love them. Okay, I get, I mix this all together. And look at how beautiful the color is. You've got some whites and some orange and yellow and green and brown. Salads are supposed to be colorful because we all eat with our eyes first, all right? We have to be, um, what's that in Tagalog? Natatakam with our eyes. And once you, uh, your appetite is encouraged or, or open, then that's where the flavor comes in. Okay, mix this well. This would serve about 8 to 12 uh, people or 8 very hungry people. Okay, in my second bowl, I'm going to mix the dressing ingredients. Let me get rid of all these bowls here so we have more space. All right, I have some full-fat mayonnaise. Don't be tempted to use the, uh, those light versions or those low-fat versions. Life is too short to waste on, you know, watching too many calories and, and all of those things. So again, what, what do I always say? Life is short. Today you're alive, tomorrow you could be dead. So enjoy your life. I've got some full fat mayo. I'm going to add to that a little bit of sugar, just a little bit to temper the tartness and create a more balanced flavor. I've got a little bit of fine sea salt, a little bit of ground white pepper. Now, the original Hawaiian macaroni salad uh, the dressing contains a little bit of vinegar but I omitted the vinegar because I already have some pickle relish in my salad mix which gives it a nice tartness and having the vinegar here um, for me makes it too tart for my taste so again I like a well-balanced flavor when it comes to my salads I give this a good mix if you want a thinner dressing you can add a couple of uh, tablespoons of uh, liquid whole milk or maybe sour cream or buttermilk and that gives a nice full-bodied flavor and a thinner uh, consistency to your dressing. Give this a good mix and then we'll take back our big bowl of salad ingredients here and then we'll add our dressing to this now this recipe may look so simple it's a no-brainer recipe but trust me once you taste this this will be your to go or go to recipe I mean Give it a good mix. Now, I don't like my salad to be too runny, but I don't like it to be too dry either. So I like to be somewhere in between. Again, a perfect balance. Now this is smelling so good, looking good. All right, that should be well mixed by now okay so anyway the best way to enjoy your macaroni chicken salad is to uh, we'll transfer it to a nice dish cover it with cling wrap and then refrigerate overnight before you eat it because that way you give time for the for all the ingredients flavors to blend and meld and mellow out and by the time you eat it the following day 
You'll have a wonderful tasting salad. So I'm going to transfer this to a nice container. And then when we come back, I'll show you how it would look like and I'm going to have a taste of this. In the meantime, I'd like you to enjoy watching a teaser for my upcoming online class. Okay, so don't go away and watch this. Have you been looking for the perfect empanada recipe? Chicken pastel, beef curry, and chorizo supreme. This is what you've been waiting for, so we're giving it to you. Flaky Gourmet Empanadas Online Class, only here at the Bailiwick Academy. Okay, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our teaser trailer for my online class. If you're interested to enroll or purchase that class, the link to the uh, website is in the description box below. And again, if you are enjoying yourself, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. That way you get notified, notified every time we have a new video uploaded. Now, okay, so here is our Hawaiian macaroni and chicken salad perfection achieved. Now, I like to enjoy my macaroni salad with a couple of slices of toast. It really brings out the, you know, the, the mix of textures. And uh, th this salad has been in my fridge uh, since yesterday. So it is now, it's cold. I like my salad to be cold. And this is just delicious. So I like to serve this with toast. couple of slices of toast and this is a simple way to present your salad a little bit more because I've got an appetite today there you go I haven't had lunch so this will compensate for my lunch and merienda all right so let's see what we have here mmm The pasta is just perfect in consistency, the texture, the flavor is superb. I like the creaminess of the dressing, nothing overpowering in the mix. If you like to add maybe a little bit of finely chopped onion, please go ahead. Um, but I'm not a big fan of onions or garlic. I'm allergic to, to garlic, but this is perfect. I love it and I hope you guys love it. When you prepare it, please give me your honest feedback. Let me know what you think in the comments portion below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. More episodes to come in the next few weeks. This is Chef Joey Prats saying goodbye. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless you all. Join me again in our next episode of Perfection Achieved.